Welcome to another little agency tutorial. If you bought a product from us, thank you so much for your purchase. And if you're just curious to know how 3D mockup works and you're a balloon artist or an enthusiast or an event planner, welcome. I hope this tutorial will help you and bring your business to new heights. So this tutorial is mainly for people who bought uh, one of my items in my Etsy shop. If you're interested, the link will be down below. Uh, once you download the PDF file with your purchase, you're going to get something that is similar to this right here. So we're going to go with an example. This is my templates uh, mock-up bundle. It's one of the bigger bundles that we have with a lot of mock-ups uh, of all kinds. There's backdrops, pedestals and such. We're going to see them right here. So we're going to click here and we're going to open it. So mock-ups. And here we go. So you can either download all of them at once and if not, if you have little storage on your tablet, your phone, or even your computer, you can go ahead and download just what you're going to be needing for that specific event. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and download all. And there we go. You can now open your zip file. It's going to give you this folder with all of the folders we're going to be needing for our Canva project. So we're going to go right ahead on Canva. We're going to create a design, a desktop wallpaper, which is a good size um, for a mock-up. Um, if you have a photo of the, the place where your setup will take place, that is amazing. I love using the client's actual backyard or venue or even their living room or wherever you're going to be setting up from. But if you don't, you can simply um, look for a backdrop so you can write maybe a white wall here on Canva. If you have the pro version like I do, you're going to have more choices, obviously. But if not, there is a lot of other things that you can um, also look for. Uh, and it's not going to be on design. I'm sorry, it's going to be on the elements little tab. So we're going to write white wall go here and see all so you see you have a lot of choices here uh, i'm gonna go ahead with something that is not uh, pro just so you guys can have a feel for it so let's go ahead with this one maybe okay we, we're gonna make it bigger so we don't have that chair on the way okay a bit more perfect i'm gonna zoom in a little so now we have our backdrop. Next step we're going to do is choose the, the, the elements that we're going to be using. So we can go right ahead and start with the backdrop. So the type of backdrop you're going to be using for your event. Uh, there are a bunch of different ones here. We're going to go with something girly. So we can go and upload maybe this pink one, this butterfly. Maybe a glitter one. I know I have a glitter Kiara somewhere right here. And I think we're good. Maybe we'll add another UART or something, but for now we're good with these. So you just click on it. It's going to show up right here. Okay, we're going to put it right in the back there. The glitter one as well. I like making everything more compact so it's easier to move around. So here we go. We're going to make it a bit smaller. We're going to get the butterfly. And this honestly is the best one for showing your clients all the possibilities that they have. And it's also good for us. So we know the proportions of things. We start knowing what looks good with what. And it's a really easy way to visualize. And once we're in person at the setup, we know exactly what we're doing and it saves a ton of time. So on top of looking really um, professional with our clients and giving them the opportunity to visualize their event in advance, we can also plan our things in advance. And, you know, while we're filling up our truck, we can um, visualize uh, if there's anything missing in advance. So that's that. 
Uh, now, if you want to add some text to your backdrop, we can go right here. Actually, I'm going to use another one. Let's go down under here. Oh, turning 22. That's a cute one. So let's put turning six instead. And we're going to write a girl's name. Okay, let's make this smaller. We're going to put it right here on the backdrop. Move this a little bit over. You can obviously change the font. So if you zoom in here, you can go and select your text and choose the font that you want. So I like using fonts like this here. We're going to copy and paste this. We're going to ungroup it. Delete the number six just so we have another text here and we're going to write a girl's name. So we're going to write Ella is turning six and we're going to change the font. We're going to select all of them and bring it lower. I like grouping text once they're done and I like using light colors on pink backdrops, but that's really a question of your client's uh, preference or your preference. So there we have it. Now let's go ahead and add a pedestal. So you cannot um, drag folders onto Canva. It's not going to let you do it. You really have to open up your file, your folder, and then either select all of the elements and drag or select only the elements that you need and drag them okay so we're gonna go ahead with this white one right here okay say you have a beige uh, pedestal that looks similar to this and on the templates folder you only have a, a white one and a pink one you can go and edit image if you have pro, you can edit the saturation, the contrast, and then in warmth, you can make it a little warmer. So we'll look beige. All right. You can make it uh, less warm. So it will become blue, but for the purpose of this setup, we're going to leave it white. Then we can go ahead and look for a balloon garland. You can also get one of my, um, Oops, one of my garland templates on that also works on Canva that you can change the color. You can really work around and like change the shapes. This is just a garland that's already ready, uh, which is harder to fit, you know, onto a backdrop, but you know, it still works. You can also edit the image and play around with the warmth, maybe make it a little warmer since it's indoors so it looks more realistic. And there you have it. You have a lot more choices. If you go on sweets, you're going to see there's cakes, there's, you know, cupcakes, um, there is a macaron tower. I'm always adding new elements to all of these folders so it's easy for you to grab and go. Uh, we have flower walls. These are new, you know, animals. If you're having uh, a little farm party or a safari party, uh, carousel horse, uh, little poodles, which is really in now for Barbie themed parties. Anyways, the choices are endless. Uh, so I'm going to leave you to here until now. And I hope this uh, cleared up some questions you, you had about how to make mock-ups. Uh, if you have any other questions, please don't be shy. Reach out to me uh, on Etsy messages. I try to answer as soon as possible. And I cannot wait to see your guys' magic. Don't forget to tag us on your socials. We're on Instagram as well at Little Agency Co. So good luck and I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Have a beautiful day.